Okay, for so for meal number one, got some eggs, egg whites, oatmeal, some strawberries. We got 40 grams of oatmeal, 50 grams of strawberries, and we have one cup egg whites, one whole egg, three small turkey sausage links with some peppers and onions. This is my breakfast I eat every single day. And here's the final product of meal number one. It's about 4 a.m. on Thursday, October 17th, 2014. We got 50 grams of strawberries, 40 grams of oatmeal, one cup egg whites, one whole egg, three small turkey sausage links, and I always uh, include a cup of coffee with two tablespoons of fat-free cream, some crystal light, and an important part of my daily breakfast is two Advocaro Megaplex tablets, uh, getting my healthy fats and my fish oil in there. So the total macros for meal number one are 12 grams of fat, 35 grams carbs, 45 grams protein. What's going on everybody? It is now 8 a.m. I believe I said Thursday earlier, it's Friday, correction. How can we forget it's Friday? Friday, October 17th, 2014. Let's put a little spark energy in here. I gotta teach a couple more classes this morning. This will give me a good, a good boost to get through those workouts. Another cool thing about Spark by Advocare is it has some great branched chain amino acids in it. It's an awesome, smooth source of energy. I also use this as a pre-workout. Highly recommend it. If you're interested in trying out some Spark, just click the link in the description box below. Got a Quest Bar here. This is one of my other staples. Uh, Quest Bars are extremely balanced source of nutrition. We got eight grams of fat, 21 carbs, 21 protein. And the greatest thing about Quest Bars is they can really help you hit your fiber requirement. They have 17 grams of fiber. So one of my tricks when I'm you know, dieting or cutting is I'll have a Quest Bar and a ton of water with it, and this will keep you full for a while. So great product right here. Meal number okay, two. Here we have meal number three for lunch. We have eight ounces of turkey. We have two Joseph wraps, which are awesome. Great source of omega-3s. We have uh, the macros on these are only eight carbs, six grams of uh, protein, and two grams of fat in each wrap. So awesome macros on those. And I also included one of my favorite Walden Farms dressing. We have chipotle, chipotle, I always say that word wrong, chipotle ranch dressing on there. So awesome lunch. Joseph wraps are great because they also have a good amount of fiber in them as well. And this should taste pretty good. What's going on YouTube? It is about two o'clock on Friday. This is meal number four. Here we have one cup of egg whites, two whole eggs, and you might think I'm a farmer. I'm a Walden farmer because I eat so much of it, but a little bit of Walden Farms ketchup on here. I'm not super hungry right now, guys, and usually I do prescribe to the theory that you should wait until you're hungry to eat but I've got to go back into work for the rest of the afternoon, early evening, and I will not have a chance to get that next meal in. And I know that if I wait too long, I'm gonna be uh, very, very hungry when I'm done. And you know, that's when bad choices happen. So a little damage control, getting some protein, some healthy fats before I go back in. Here we go, dinner time. It's about 6.30 p.m. Friday night. Got a wild and crazy Friday night here planned. No, I'm just kidding. A little tired, so we're gonna take it easy tonight. Got a nice full day of classes tomorrow. In this dinner right here, we have a full tuna roll and a full shrimp and avocado roll with a boatload of, of grilled veggies, sauteed veggies, I should say, along with my standard Diet Pepsi. I always have Diet Pepsi with every dinner. I don't see a problem with it. I've gotten down to single digit body fat, so um, you know it hasn't caused any problems for me. But with this dinner right here, I just wanted to show you guys that you can still incorporate foods you like and different types of foods. It doesn't have to be grilled chicken every time. Just make sure it fits your macronutrient numbers that you were given at the beginning of the day. What I'll do a lot of times in this case is I'll log the food before I eat it and then I'll work backwards and fit in my day around that. The biggest thing guys, just hit your fiber, get within five grams of your protein and your carbs, get within three grams of your fat. After this, we got a little dessert.
All right, guys, here we go. Meal number six. I have a chocolate peanut butter protein shake. It's pretty thick because I've used some Arctic Zero. It's a special kind of ice cream. It only has 150 calories uh, per serving and good stuff. Packet of Splenda. Don't hate me, guys. I use a lot of Splenda. And uh, you know, if you're not a fan of it, too bad. And Diamantize ISO 100 Whey Protein. I really like this protein because it's an isolate. And isolates don't have very much lactose in them. So for someone like me, who I believe I'm a bit lactose intolerant, it's a great, great form of protein. And I know my wife appreciates it when I, when I use this instead of other types of whey protein. Uh, it's about a 16 ounce shake right there. It's a good amount left in the blender here, as you can see. So final macros for the day. I ended up at 236 grams of protein. 156 grams of carbohydrates and 51 grams of fat to go with 43 grams of fiber in those in those carbs so that's a pretty good carb to fiber ratio something we always strive for with our Phelps fit clients I just wanted to show you guys my targets were 240 grams of protein 160 grams of carbohydrates and 50 grams of fat so I stuck to my own rules I stayed within three on fats and with five on proteins and carbs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Got to see a full day of eating. This was a medium carb day for me. Tomorrow will be a higher carb day. Can't wait. Till next time.